In this presentation, I'm going to talk about probability distribution curves and critical value Z alpha over 2. So let's look at probability distribution. It's a description that gives the probability for each value or range of values of the random variable. Probability distribution for a random variable can be given in the form of a table, graph, or formula. What's the probability distribution curve? It describes the shape of the distribution, which depends on many factors related to the type of distribution. It's often called density curve. Here are some common probability distributions. Standard normal distribution, student T distribution, chi square distribution, and F distribution. These distributions are used in different applications, which they have to satisfy certain criteria that is related to the type of distribution and application. What is the significance level alpha? Significance level alpha is a numerical value it is always between 0 and 1, which is associated with the right tail of the probability distribution curve. The area of the right tail is alpha over 2. Here is a typical probability distribution curve or density curve with the right tail area of alpha over 2 and the remaining area is 1 minus alpha over 2. What's the confidence level 1 minus alpha times 100 percent? Confidence level is a numerical value associated with the middle area under the probability distribution curve. The middle area is 1 minus alpha, but confidence level is usually provided using percent notation. And alpha over 2 is the area for each tail on either side. So the middle area is 1 minus alpha, the area of the right tail is alpha over 2, and the area of the left tail is also alpha over 2. The total area is 1, and this graph is symmetric. What is a critical value? Critical value is a numerical value that separates the right tail of the probability distribution curve with the area alpha over 2 with the rest of the curve. This density curve is not symmetric. However, it has total area 1. The area on the, of the right tail is alpha over 2. The rest of the area is 1 minus alpha over 2. The value that separates these two regions is called critical value. Now let's take a look at standard normal distribution. It's a normal probability distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation 1. The total area under the density curve is equal to 1. 
the density curve is symmetric and it is bell shaped. Now let's take a look at critical value Z alpha over 2. We use a standard normal distribution. The critical value separates the right tail region with the area alpha over 2. And we use standard normal distribution table or technology to find such critical value. So the area of the right tail alpha over 2. The rest of the area is 1 minus alpha over 2. The z value that separates these two region, regions is the critical value z alpha over 2. Now how do we find z alpha over 2 critical value? We draw the standard normal distribution curve. We shade and label the right tail region with the area alpha over 2. We compute the left area, which is 1 minus alpha over 2. And then we use technology or chart to find the corresponding critical value. In this example, we're asked to find critical value z alpha over 2 for alpha equal to 0.02. Since alpha is 0 0.02, the area of the right tail is alpha over 2, which is 0 0.01. And the left area is 1 minus alpha over 2, which is 0.99. Now we're going to use the standard normal distribution table or technology to find such critical value. In this class, we're using TI to find the critical value. We press second, followed by VARS, then we choose option number three for the inverse norm. Now, if your calculator displays a menu, we simply enter the required items. We use the left area with the mean of zero and a standard deviation one. We press paste and then we hit enter. Now if your calculator does not display a menu, we simply enter those required items but separate them with comma and then we're going to hit enter. So this one does not have the menu, we put the left area mean and a standard deviation, separate them with comma, and then we're going to hit enter. So the Z critical value of 0 0.01 is 2.326. let's find critical value for 90% confidence level. So in this example, we're given confidence level of 90%. That leaves us with 0.1 area for both tails. Once we divide that by 2, we get 0.05. So that would be the area of the right tail 
as well as the area of the left tail. So in a drawing, you'll see that if the right area is 0 0.05, then the rest of the area is 0.95. Again, we can use table or technology to find this critical value. We'll press second using TI, followed by VARS. Choose option 3 for inverse norm. And if you have a menu, we simply enter the values and then press paste, followed by enter. Now, if we don't have the menu on the calculator, we enter the left area, mean, and a standard deviation in that order, but separate them with comma. And then we're going to hit enter. So the critical value Z of 0 0.05 is 1.645. I hope this presentation helped you understand what critical values are and how to find Z critical value.